let's start with exercise 10.6 question 1 integration x sin x dx so this is algebraic term and this is your trigo trigonometric term so according to this you can see that uh, algebraic term will have a higher priority than trigonometric term so this will be your u and this will be your v uh, you know that formula u dot v dx uh, this is integration by parts so u integration v dx minus integration uh, derivative of u with respect to x integration v with respect to uh, whole dx so thus we will keep the value of u and v over here here your u is x whereas the v is sin x derivative of x with respect to x integration sin x dx whole dx so integration of sin x is minus cos x uh, dx is dx1 this is minus cos x uh, and whole dx this will be minus x cos x this minus will come out and will make it plus integration of cos x is sin x plus c so this is your final answer right so here we have applied uh, integration by parts let's try to understand the, the second question x sin 3x dx again this will be your u and this will be your v as algebraic term is having higher priority than trigonometric term so you know that uh, u dot v dx is the u integration v dx minus integration derivative of u with respect to x integration v with respect to x whole Uh, dx. So let's just keep the value of u and v. You know that the integration of sine is cos, and as the coefficient of x is three, we have to divide it by three. Dx times by dx is one, and this will be the same. Is minus cos 3x by 3. This minus minus will get plus 1 by 3 will come out of integration, and your final answer will be. Sine integration of cos is sine, and as the coefficient of x is 3, we have to divide it by 3. So your final answer is minus x cos. x by 3 plus 3 is equal to 9 sine 3x plus c this is your final answer right uh, if you want you you should write this like this by Let's try to understand the third position. Uh, integration x square e raised to x dx. Again, you can see that this is your algebraic term and this is your exponential term. So, uh, the priority will be of algebraic, and after that, it will be exponential. So. Uh, integration u dot v dx is the u integration v dx minus integration uh, derivative of u with respect to x integration v dx whole uh, dx. So keeping the value of u and v, 
you will have uh, x square integrated e raised to x dx minus uh, derivative of x square with respect to x uh, e raised to x dx whole dx. So integration e raised to x will be raised to x only integration uh, sorry derivative x square will be 2x e raised to x dx. So you can see that I have to again apply this uh, UV rule over here where this will be my U and this will be my V. So X integration E raised to X DX minus derivative of X with respect to X integration E raised to X DX whole DX. Right. So you can see that here I am applying uh, integration by parts uh, twice in the same sum x e raised to x integration is e raised to x minus uh, dx by dx is 1 e raised to integration is e raised to x only and e dx so x square e raised to x minus 2 bracket x e raised to x minus e raised to x integration is e raised to x plus so if I open this bracket and I will have minus 2x e raised to x minus minus plus 2 e to x plus 2. So if I take e raised to x common outside then I will have x square minus 2x plus 2 plus c. So this is my final answer. Question 4 is x log x dx. Right. Now you can see that uh, this is your algebraic term and this is your logarithmic term. So you know that uh, priority of log is higher. So a log will be uh, your u and x will be your v dx. So u integration v dx minus integration derivative of u integration v dx whole dx so log x uh, integration x is x square by 2 minus this will be 1 by x this will be x square by 2 dx so this will be x square log x by 2 minus 1 by 2 x dx. So the final answer will be x square log x by 2 minus 1 by 2 x square by 2 plus c. Right. So this uh, 2 to the will make this 4. So x square log x by 2 minus x square by 4 plus c. This is your final answer. Question 5. Integration x log 2x dx. Here you can see that the priority of log 2x will be higher than uh, x as this is logarithmic term and this is algebraic term. So uh, again applying integration by parts log 2x integration x dx minus derivative of log 2x with respect to x integration x dx whole dx. So integration x is x square by 2 minus derivative of log is 1 by x but as it is 2x we have to take derivative of 2x which will be 2 integration of x will be x square by 2 dx so x square log 2x by 2 here uh, 2 2 will get cancelled 1 x 1 x will get cancelled so we are left with 1 by 2 x dx x square 
square log 2x by 2 minus half x square by 2 plus c. So your final answer will be x square log 2x by 2 minus x square by 4 plus c. So let's try to understand the situation. And here it is given x square log x dx. So you can see that the priority of log will be higher than algebraic term x square. So applying integration by parts log x integration x square dx minus integration derivative of log x with respect to x integration x square dx whole dx. So log x into x cubed by 3 minus derivative of log x is 1 by x which will be x cubed by 3 dx. So x cubed log x by 3 minus 1 by 3 will come outside and this will be just x square dx. So x cubed log x by 3 minus 1 by 3 again x cubed by 3 plus c so final answer will be x cubed log x by 3 minus 1 by 1 by 9 x cubed plus c so this is your final answer